This one is the Similux 50 millimeters f1.4 black chrome edition. And the reason why I have this lens is because I found it here in Switzerland, Zurich. As you can see, I'm actually at a hotel, not at the studio, so I'm gonna be using this camera to give you my first impression of this lens. A lens that I'm pretty familiar how it performs, so let's talk about it. And before I continue, make sure to follow me on social media at Gaston Shatters, where you can see images taken with the gear that I review here in the channel. Now, this one has been a lens in my bucket list for a long time, and I just happened to be at the Leica store here in Zurich. They have one there, and I happened to have my Leica M11 with my Sumilux 50 millimeter, the version 11A91, the one with a retractable lens hood. To make a long story short, I actually traded that lens on the spot and got myself this lens. Now, just to tell you a little bit of the history about this lens, the um, Black Chrome Edition Sumilux 50 millimeters is a lens that it is designed based on the 1959 model, but with modern optics. This lens is gonna have the same optics as the 11 A91, which is the lens that I actually traded in for. And also the 2023 uh, re-edition with close focusing distance, we're talking about the same optical design. Now this lens is gonna feature eight elements in five groups and also it's gonna have floating elements. So you can expect out of the image quality of this lens, you know, very, very sharp. And it is actually sharp all across the range. You know, at f1.4, the lens is going to be slightly softer, but right away at f2 and beyond, this lens is really, really sharp. One of the reasons why I think the Summilux 50 millimeters f1.4 is one of the most uh, versatile lenses because, you know, you still get sharpness, you still get a fast lens, and you also get a very uh, uh, compact size when you're talking about these versions. Now let's talk about the design of this particular housing of this lens. This lens is constructed 100% out of brass. The only part that is stainless steel is gonna be the mount, but then everything else is going to be brass. Now let's actually talk about the performance of the uh, aperture ring and the focusing ring. And this is where I actually noticed a big difference um, you know, versus my version that I actually traded in, the 11 A91. This one is actually really, really clicky. It goes from f1.4 all the way to f16 in half clicks increments. Now, when it comes to the uh, focusing ring, in my opinion, this is one of the best implementations for fast aperture lenses. I much prefer the scallop design than the uh, tab because I just feel that with two fingers on either side, you know, I have more control to refine my focus more specifically when talking about, you know, at f1.4 or for example, with my Noctilux at f1.2, which it also features the same design. For that reason alone, you know, I've been looking for this lens for a while. Now, when it comes to the scale, the aperture one is gonna be in white, the distance scale in meter is gonna be in white and in red, we are gonna have it in feet. When it comes to weight, this thing is going to be a little bit heavier than prior version. It weighs at around 385 grams, and of course, this is all made out of brass, so. Now, the prior version that I own with a retractable lens hood, that one weighed at about 335 grams. This one is actually the heaviest of all the Summilux um, out there, you know, and the construction of brass is pretty much where all the weight goes because when it comes to the elements, the glass, it's gonna be identical. Now, one of the reasons why I always was drawn to this lens is because I don't like lenses with built-in lens hood. And the 11 a 91 version is a lens that has a very loose uh, lens hood. It deploys automatically. A lot of the time, it's rattling on its own. And to be honest with you, I kinda like had enough with that. I even consider removing the lens hood on that lens. In this one, you know, the lens hood is optional and it came included with my lens. If you actually install it in the lens, it's gonna make the lens pretty big and I'll show you right now. It has these two tabs that you gotta push in and it locks in place and this is the look of the lens. Now let's talk about sharpness of this lens and the overall performance. At f1.4, this lens is going to perform really good. It is actually sharp at f1.4, something that you cannot say about a lot of fast lenses. For example, vintage lenses, you know, pre-aspherical, they are gonna be way softer at wider aperture. But this one at f1.4 performs really sharp. The bokeh out of this lens it's actually really nice, very creamy. And as soon as you step down to f2, f4, this lens is going to be extremely sharp. Now this lens is going to display very little chromatic aberrations, you know, from the f2 and on. At f1.4 is when you're gonna see a little bit more of that magenta and sometimes green uh, chromatic aberration. But overall, the performance of this lens and the control of the distortion and the control of the aberrations is pretty amazing. 
Another reason why I decided to go with this lens is because this one, as you can see, is six bit coded. The prior version of the 11 A91 that I owned wasn't. And last but not least, let me show you the lens on my Leica M11P. It looks really good. I like the combination of the matte um, you know, finish of the lens with the matte finish of the camera. Now this lens is gonna have a little drawback and the drawback is gonna be that if you lay the camera you know, like this, the lens is gonna tip forward and the lens is gonna wanna rest in the aperture ring, something that I don't like. And again, you, know, you just gotta be extra careful. Now conclusions, in my opinion, this design is one of the best designs of the 50 millimeter Sumilux for several reasons. Number one, it has the super cool design, you know, from the 1959. I do love the Scala focusing ring, like I mentioned before, when it comes to fast aperture. I just feel that I have much more control, uh, you know, just positioning two fingers on the side and refining my focus. The other thing that I like about this focusing ring is that it has a very fluid performance with a little bit of resistance. So to nail your focus is actually really easy with this particular lens. And I gotta say that it's the best good looking 50 millimeter F1.4 Somilux ever created because you have this cool design from the 1959s, but you also have the brand new optical formula that is super sharp. The lens is actually compact and it has a very fast aperture of F1.4. So this is gonna be it guys, my first impression on the uh, Similux 50 millimeters F1.4 black chrome edition. There's gonna be a follow-up video coming up soon. So subscribe to the channel, like this video if you find value, and until then, I'll see you on the next video.